in the name of Jesus to all the pastors, uh, church, family, to, um, to all brethren out there. Have a good day. Um, I will make this video real quick for encouragement. Um, tungod sa panahon na to karon, sa kapanahon na, na to karon na kita um, pandemic. And uh, not just only you, you know, only Philippines or only US are hurting. But uh, also all over the world, so it's global. So, and I would like to um, give thanks to uh, our pastors and our brethren that doing live videos. They're uh, setting up everything, giving their time and effort to reach out to you, to and I order you to hear the word of God. So I, I I I really appreciate you all, and we must do this in unity and together. And whatever you do, to encourage to um to to teach the word of god to preach the word of god so that we d we don't want to be lostology we don't want to be lost this short encouragement is for you and for me that we have a special test and nowadays we are um raising up the frontliners and uh, we're thankful but we have a special test as a, a believer one god that in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Whew. This is very powerful. Powerful message. Powerful stuff. Supernatural. If you begin to how to call the name of the lord right away he will answer you and he will show you great and mighty things that you didn't know not since the beginning and it will blow your mind and not just ordinary call but we have to exhort we have to the, do something responsibility that we have is to call so I bring you the subject that is call. Call what is pagtawag. So according to America's number one Webster Dictionary, uh, Miriam Webster Dictionary says call. Not just ordinary call, but cry. Cry. And um, call is weeping. Weeping. Call is the utter exhort in the loud, clear voice. And a call to make a request or demand. Or calling like a strong inner impulse towards a whole calling. Who are you calling? Before we proceed, let's offer a prayer. Um, we praise you, Father. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. And uh, we all know that you are God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and Jacob. That God can do things, can move the mountain. And Lord, help us, Lord God. To obey your words and help us, Lord God, to understand and everything, Lord Jesus, I pray. In this short video, we will learn together and as we encourage, as a, our responsibility to encourage fellow believers and um, brethren and church 
uh, in this uh, end times, Lord God, in these hard times. We thank you for everything and we glorify your name and we magnify your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. We pray. Amen. In Psalms 50, 15 says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Now the word of God says that if we call him, especially in the day of trouble like this, he will deliver and thou shalt glorify me after that. He wants us to glorify him. That means in our prayer, in our calling, in our weeping, in our exhortation, in our request, whatever we have to do. Do you know what is amazing nowadays that really God is um, intended in every angle, in every aspect in our life. He wants, he wants to be glorified in terms of um, your prayer, your reading, and the way you live, the way that you have friends, the way about everything, the way you act, the way you speak and the way you have uh the uh, the relations with your family the way you have um uh, even though your money he wants you his name be glorified and before you know that um if your heart your life being fully surrendered to god even though the smallest thought that you have god is judging you God is um, questioning that. And then um, for the days of trouble, sometimes our mind is shattered. Sometimes our, uh, we have lots of um, overthink and something like that. But mind this, this is the word of God. He wants every aspect and every angle of your life. He wants him to glorify. Psalm 65, 16, as for me, and I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. And I know, I read some posts that um, God never forsake you, God never leave you, and He even supply your needs. And um, we're more than blessed, and we even don't feel that it's quarantine and, and, and people are hurting. But it, it is, because it's, it's a word of God. It says, never forsake you, never leave you, and I will supply all your needs. That's His word. Amen. In another Psalms 86, 7, in the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Amen. He will answer, my friend. He will answer, brethren. He will answer, church. He will answer. He will listen to you. In the famous verse, in the famous song that called, If my people were humble themselves, and seek my, my face, and I will hear from heaven, and I will heal their name. In Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, I will read it again. If my people will, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Whew. That is powerful. That is supernatural there. If you call him, if you cry out to him, if you humble yourself, and you turn your wicked ways, and you repent, God is merciful. God is faithful. Um, God really calling us and he even he even crying he even weeping too because that is the word when he was when he was here in the earth as Jesus he was crying and weeping and asking God and so are we so are we so isn't God patiently asking you and me when are you going to repent when are you going to pray diligently heartedly when are you going to have faith in my word to believe and to leave it 
When are you going to live holy? Church, church, this is the time. This is the time. This is the moment. No work and whatsoever. And we, ha we have time to fasting and pray, double time to read and to study. And we have a great opportunity. Opportunity. Because after this all, are we all waiting that we all this everything end? After this all, we're gonna go back to our busy life and everything. God knows that. And this is our opportunity to seek Him, to cry out, to weep. Yes. And there's no time for waste, my friend. No time to waste. No time to play. No time. And no time to backslide. Please. No time to backslide. There's no time to go back. There's no time. We do have a big opportunity now. Start it now. Don't say it, oh, tomorrow because God is merciful. Yes, it is. But we never know the time. You never know the time you stand before the Lord. But please, the opportunity is knocking. This is the moment. This is the opportunity to pray, to cry out, to weep, to ask the Lord. Whatever you do, ask by my name. There's nothing impossible with God. No more time we wasted. No more time to play. And there's no time to backslide. Here it is. No time to backslide. And most of all, we don't want to be left behind in the rapture. It was in time that I was having a call with my mom earlier. Um, we're talking about um, preparation, preparation for um, what it come in comes the days of hard time more. Um, as we know that we're we're gonna face more hard harder times than this, and um, I I let her know that we have to prepare, and I told her like. I don't I don't want to be here. I don't want to be left behind. Rapture is coming and rapture is is um is um it, it's a one time. I don't want to be so um you know be bothered and be worried everything here. And this this earth uh, this world be be will be ruled by by Satan by by, by the evil. So I don't want to be left behind. As much as possible, I want to live happy every day. I want to be blessed. I, I, I want to be um, cleansed by God. I don't want to be too long in this video. And I hope you guys and I pray that um, the Lord will um, give you courage more and to do so. Taganin niyo, O God, dakong pagtagad ang espirituhan ng mga butang. Kaya nagasulat na nga, ang tao dili mabuhi sa pinapay lang ang pagbili sa matagbulo ng mula sa bako sa Diyos. Atong basaw, dong, atong ikinabuhi. Dili kita kasagdan. And mabuhi kita. Because that's his word. That is his word. And when he said that, he means it. And I don't know, wak ko kay balo kung unsa pa yung mga pulong nga uh, makapadasig ni mo. Una ko ka natong tanan. Pero nga, uh, uh, panahon nga, uh, hamubo na lang. Uh, mat uh, sa akong uh, last video, first video, uh, grace period, um, extension na lang nga uh, panahon. I don't know kung unsa pa jay maka maka tandog ni mo or unsa pa gid nga klase nga pulong nga kinahanglan nga matandog ka kinahanglan mo dul ka sa Ginoo I don't know but I know this God is powerful God is so powerful he's a consuming fire the power of his holy ghost the true you can able break can able to break whatever circumstances you have whatever strongholds you have and if you can drink the water, if you're thirst now, you hoka, if you can drink the water that with his Holy Ghost, you will never thirst again. And if you are thirst again, ask the Holy Ghost again. Ask his living water again. That's all you have to do, folks. That is, my friend, that is. Before we end this video, magaha pasalamat kita sa ginoo, o magampo kita sa ginoo sa kinabuhi. Pagbina sa kaluwasan nga 
walay bayad nga gihatag ng kanat. Samhanan ka og balaan kay ginoon Dios o sa matag pulong pulong o litra ginoon Dios sa imong pulong ginoon Dios aduna kini kinabuhi aduna kini paglaom og aduna kini gahom ginoon Dios nga mga uh, manifest ginoon Dios mo ka kontrola sa among kinabuhi. Salamat kay ginoon Dios karong adi. Mapasalamaton kami ginoon Dios sa imong pagproteksyon. Mapasalamatan kami ginoon sa pag-aayo sa imong mga amo mga balatian. Mapasalamatan kami ginoon Dios sa imong pagsuplay sa imong kinahanglan. Ug mapasalamatan kami dako ginoon Dios sa among mga kaluwasan nga walay bayad. Salamat kay Ruhi Ever ginoon Dios kinsang nagatanginaw ginoon Dios sa ning video nga wala pa nakaila kanimo ug nagatawag kanimo ug wala pa nakadawat sa bautismo Lord God um, help them Lord God to begin to realize in their mind their heart Lord Jesus how powerful you are Lord God unsa ka kagabhanan ug unsa ka nga Dios nga manluluwas ug unsa ka nga Dios nga pagagugmao unsa ka nga Dios nga mamuhat sa tanang mga butang salamat ginoon Dios ako kini giulit ko salamatan O ginadaig ng pagamahan ng pangalan dahil. In Jesus' name, I pray. We pray. Amen.